Well, hello everybody. How are we all? I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to a setup that feels like it's been a while since I've done this. I remember my first ever YouTube video, which was a whole year ago now. Um, but I remember that was a very similar setup to this. I kind of forgot I used to do this. It takes a long time to set up. I've obviously got a little bit lazy. But at the minute, we've got all the time in the world on our hands. And a lot of you have asked me to do a spring summer styling haul. And so I thought, why not do it? I have got a whole rail here full of outfits. I think in total I am going to be styling six outfits. Super excited to show you because as you can see there's some pastel colours in there. And if I do say so myself, I think all of the outfits are pretty nice. Another reason I'm excited to do this haul is because I have a new bag to share with you all. And the reason all these outfits have been put together is because they go perfectly, in my opinion, with my new bag. So, inside this box is my new bag. Before I unbox it with you all, which I might have already had a little bit of sneak peek myself, I just quickly want to say this bag was ordered pre-everything going on in the world. I don't want this to come across as bragging or anything like that. But I know we all love fashion, that is why we're here, and so I do really want to share this with you all because I feel like you're all going to love it as much as me. So talking about loving fashion, I want to tell you all about the company I ordered this bag from. I got it from an online store called Farfetch. I have trusted and loved Farfetch for so many years. Many of you might remember my Chloe Nile bag. It was a little white bag with a gold handle. I'm actually replacing that bag with this bag, giving you a little bit of hint of how this bag's going to look. But I actually ordered that bag from Farfetch a number of years ago now. I had amazing customer service and delivery, which for me means so much much when ordering designer things online. I need to trust the company and I do always want good delivery, which Farfetch definitely still offers because I had just as great delivery and custom service with this. Another reason I love Farfetch, they have an amazing vintage and pre-love section. I'm always eyeing up the Hermes, the Chanel, the Celine, the Louis Vuitton. They have such a great variety of things. Which you should go and check out because you can find some real gems. So let me get into the box, which is what you will want to see. By the way, I just want to quickly say that this bag was obviously sourced from England because it's got this little England flag on the front. Farfetch sourced things from all different boutiques and countries and depending on the country that it comes from, they will put a little sticker on the front, which I always think is really cute. So this is the big dust bag it came in. This is like the protective dust bag, which is always good to know because these things need a lot of protection. And here is the next dust bag, which is obviously the dust bag of the brand, which the bag had come from. I wonder how many of you guessed it was gonna be from this brand. A lot of you that know me well will know I've never actually had a bag from Saint Laurent, but I've always, always wanted one. And when I saw this particular bag, I fell in love and I just know I needed to have it. So without further ado, this is my new YSL handbag, how beautiful is this? So now you're probably realizing the whole relation to the Chloe Nile because it's the same color with the same hardware. Ever since I sold my Chloe Nile, I just knew come spring, summer, I was gonna miss it so much. But I've been on the hunt ever since to find a bag that was just as gorgeous, but was a little bit bigger because that was always my complaint with my Chloe, it was too small. This though, I feel like is a much more practical size without being too big, because I still prefer smaller bags because they're nice and cute. It has got a really big interior, so I'm gonna fit lots in it. It also comes with a long crossbody strap, which I'll pop on and show you. For me, having a crossbody strap is always a necessity for when you're shopping, you need to be a little bit hands-free, or even on a night out. I'm actually seeing myself a lot in Ibiza, hopefully if we get away this year with this bag on and I definitely want to wear it crossbody then. I also though always love a bag with a top handle because then it takes you from daytime to nighttime really easily because the top handle I feel like always dresses it up. You can remove this strap and just wear it like this on its own. I also love the really chunkiness of the gold. You can see I'm really into chunky gold at the moment because I've got a necklace on like it but I just think it's such a gorgeous gorgeous bag and Here's a whole rail of outfits I've styled to go with it. I just know that it is gonna go with so much. So without further ado, let's get on with the styling haul. So the first time I realized I really wanted a, another cream bag in my wardrobe was when I was in Paris. Now, many of you have already seen this outfit because it did feature on my Instagram. But when I wore this outfit in Paris, I actually wore it with one of my Louis Vuitton bags. And all day, I thought, I really love this outfit, but it would look so much nicer if I had a cream bag. So that was the turning point for me, and when I found this beauty on Farfetch's new season selection. Which, by the way, check out their new season selection, because it bangs. Anyway, this was the outfit I actually wore. I wore it with my cream trousers from Zara. I wore it with my Zara cream coat 
and I actually didn't wear it with this jumper, I wore it with a thicker jumper, but as the weather's so nice now, I've actually gone for this thinner jumper from Topshop. I just think this whole outfit looks so gorgeous. I'm really big in myself up here and my styling skills, but I just think it looks so gorgeous all put together with my Balenciaga Triple S. If you're not much of a trainer girl, this would look lovely with just a pair of flat shoes. You could wear it with a pair of the Gucci Prince Tans and the little slide on mules, perfect for spring, summer. You could wear it with a pair of heels if you're that type of girl. I'm obviously a trainer girl, so this is the way I'm styling it. But I love an all cream look the same way as I love an all black look in the winter. All cream, spring, summer is always a vibe. So that was outfit number one. And the real reason the bag was definitely on my purchase list. The next outfit is a little bit of a pop of colour from me, which is quite a rare time i know a lot of you are thinking freya in pink really it has been seen before guys and hopefully it will be seen a lot more times i'm actually a lover of a lilac as well stay tuned for some lilac at some point in the not so distant future now this suit is actually from topshop and as you can see it goes in my opinion so perfectly with this bag this would be gorgeous for a wedding if any of you've got a summer wedding coming up it would look lovely i've not personally got a wedding coming up though so i'm just gonna be wearing this out for drinks with my friends or going shopping or just doing the usual stuff that I tend to do. You could wear this a number of ways. You could wear it as a full suit, like you're seeing me wear it, with just a white t-shirt underneath and a gold necklace just to jazz it up a little bit and a pair of trainers. Or like all of these outfits, to be honest, you could wear it with a pair of heels, you could wear it with a pair of mules. You could also wear this as separates, which is another reason I love buying suits. Because you could wear this blazer with a pair of jeans rather than wearing it with a full suit and it looks like a totally different outfit. Just for size reference, I have the blazer on in a 14 and the trousers on in a size 10. I feel like they're both fit really true to size but I did buy the blazer a few sizes up because I want it to have that oversized kind of fit which I can never go a video without saying the word oversized as many of you know. Next up is an outfit I recently got from H&M. Many of you may have seen this in my come shop into H&M video with me and I just had to feature it because I look at that video and look back and think that was such a good find. These trousers guys are an absolute bargain. Let me tell you, a bargain. They're $17.99, they fit like a dream, and, well actually the whole outfit's a bargain, because this was only $12.99. I just think this look screams spring, summer to me, personally. I think it's a really classy vibe, matched with the bag as well. I love how it all ties in. Can you see now why I really wanted a cream and gold bag in my life? It just goes with everything, and just ties everything together so nicely. I always wear gold jewelry, so I really think the gold on the chain is bringing all of these outfits together lovely this outfit i think would also make a really lovely work option it's super comfortable all the material is really stretchy and breathable which i'm always here for at work and also just in spring summer in general because hopefully we're gonna get some nice weather i finished the outfit off with a pair of gucci prince town mules which i live in in the summer and i just think they're classic they're also available on farfetch guys if you want to check those out also, sticking with the same outfit, but showing how you can wear it in a different variety of ways, and especially if the weather's a little bit chillier. But this would look really cute over the top of it, with the shirt sticking out, just for a little bit of warmth. Because we have to remember, this is England, and it's not always as warm as we'd like it to be. I love this outfit. I actually love all of these outfits. I'm really, really big in myself up here, guys, but... I think I've done quite a good job. I'm ready for spring summer, that's for sure, once we're allowed out the house, anyway. So my next outfit is something that I feel like is very much a me outfit. Now, this trench coat, I just wanna show you all this trench. I saw it originally in Topshop Oxford Circus. A girl was trying it on in the mirror and I went up to her, I was like, where did you find that jacket? And there was one left on the stand, it wasn't my size. I quickly looked online and I managed to bag myself this. I do believe they've had a restock since. If you're after this, definitely go and buy it. It is the softest faux leather I've ever felt on this earth. It honestly feels real. It's a really lightweight material though, as we don't want big, thick, heavy coats this time of year. In my head, I was just teaming it with a plain white t-shirt, which is also from Topshop. There's a number of ways you could style this coat. You could wear it with a pair of blue jeans, like these Zara ones I have on right now. You could also wear it with these new chinos, the ones from H&M that I showed you a minute ago. You could wear it with the nude leggings from Zara. It would go with so many different things. But once again, can we just see how much this whole outfit ties together with my new bag? You're gonna be sick of the sight of this bag by the end of the summer with all these outfits that I'm planning on wearing with it. I kept on my gold chain with this outfit, just tying everything together nicely. 
I'm wearing it with my Balenciaga Triple S, but you could wear it once again with the mules or with a pair of heels, whatever kind of vibe you're going for. I actually really need to get a pair of like nudie creamy boots because I feel like that would pair together really nicely with that outfit. So the next outfit is this one that is right at the front, which you might have been eyeing up from the start. It's another blazer from me. I love a blazer as many of you know. By the way, I feel like a lot of you are going to ask. This one is from Storettes. I've had this since last summer, it's huge. My mum hates it, she says it just is ridiculously big. But I like it, actually, talking about that, let me just quickly show you how nicely this bag is gonna go with this outfit. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize, I'm not doing this on purpose, I've only just realized that this actually works. But see guys, this bag is gonna go with everything. But anyway, this is not one of my outfits in my six outfits, so let's pop that down and go back to this one. Now, this one is another suit, so it's like the pink one, but it's not pink. It's this kind of sagey green, which once again is a very daring colour for me because we all know I'm very much a brown and neutral girl. I saw this originally on my friend Alice, which Alice, if you're watching this, thanks for the inside. And it just looked so gorgeous on her. It's something a little bit different. I'm planning on wearing it with trainers, but she actually wore it with heels, which did look really, really lovely. Once again, like the pink suit, it would be a perfect wedding guest outfit. I, as I say, I'm not going to a wedding. So I'm gonna be wearing this to other glamorous places, like the pub, maybe a beer garden. I've teamed it just with the t-shirt that I've got on. This is also from Topshop. It would look really nice though, with a high neck Zara bodysuit. I couldn't find mine this morning. I think it must be in the wash, but it would look really nice with that, just to keep you cinched in and really fitted. I had the blazer in a size 12, just to make it a little bit more oversized, and the bottoms in my regular size 10. They're a little bit big though, so if you're in between sizes, definitely size down in those. I just love this. I think it's really cute. Like the pink one, you can wear it a number of different ways. You can split it, wear it with a pair of jeans if you want. And I just think it's a really lovely, expensive looking suit. It's giving me very much Victoria Beckham vibes. Not saying I'm anywhere near as classy and cool as her, but a girl can dream. My last outfit is very similar to the one that I've got on right now. But I feel like this is very much a Freya Killian outfit. Brown blazer, white t-shirt, mum jeans. I'm definitely a creature of habit, aren't I, guys? So, I picked up this blazer, and it is from H&M. It's super affordable, by the way, $24.99. It's this linen-y material. I don't actually own a blazer in a linen-y material. I own a number of brown blazers, though, but none in this show. That's how I'm justifying it. I plan to wear this just with a white tee, a gold necklace like I've got on now, I was either going to wear it with the chinos that I picked up from H&M. I just think this makes a really lovely neutral outfit. Or just a pair of Zara mama jeans like the ones that I'm wearing. I'm then going to wear trainers, mules, depending on the occasion. And once again, paired perfectly with my beautiful new YSL bag. Look how nice it is. I feel like I'm a proud mum, guys. Honestly, I can't wait for her to meet all of her siblings. Anyway, I just feel like this is a really perfect outfit just to chuck on, really effortless, timeless, and like I say, super affordable as well, which we're always here for. Well, I'm always here for anyway. I always think if you can buy affordable clothes, that means you can splurge on all of your accessories, like I tend to do. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you love my new bag as much as I do. Hopefully, I've given you some outfit ideas going into spring summer. As always, I will link everything down below so you can go and shop it all from there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just want to quickly send my love to everyone at home. I hope you're all keeping safe. I hope you're all staying in. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.